Hi, it's Natasha. And Khalil. And we are the co-hosts of Woke, Woke and, and Free. Free. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to our 178th episode of Woke and Free. If you've been tuning in every week for Woke and Free Wednesday, you know that Woke and Free is all about being real and honest with each other and you. We talk about everything and anything important to us, you, the world, and nothing is off the table. This week, we are doing another Woken Free story time, and this one is called 21 Questions About Pregnancy. So if any of you were wondering how our pregnancy is going, you will get more than enough details. Probably too much, because really? TMI is usually the world within where I live. Uh, all so, right, that's why. <laughs> I, think I give just be- enough. Barely, barely. I give just enough information is the phrase that I would use. For would me. you tell them that you were just yawning? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If yawning's a good deed, that's the only way. <laughs> I don't if know the science that, behind yawning. We'd have to oh, okay. do an episode on it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. But before we dive deep into the conversation around pregnancy, just a couple of things to cover. First, have you downloaded this episode by going to WokenFree.com by using the Podbean app? If you haven't, please do so immediately. We are definitely looking to continue to grow the podcast, but also it's the best way for you to join the conversation if you too are yawning and or <laughs> have thoughts to say about pregnancy. If you happen to be pregnant, we want to hear all about it, but you have to have the app so that you can put in your thoughts in the comments. So definitely do that. For instance, if you say you're in a situation for right now, maybe not forever, but right now you're not able to download any additional apps, then all we ask is that you're following and subscribe to the show on whatever platform you're catching this on. So we're on iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Play. Of course, we have our own YouTube channel, SoundCloud. We put select episodes there, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and newly added to the list, Pandora. So any of those places, make sure you're subscribed and followed there. And then of course, you want to subscribe to the show via email by going to WokenFree.com and clicking a button so that you can do that because then you will be able to get email notifications every single week when we have a new episode. So there's no excuse to say, I didn't know you had a new episode. Woken Free Wednesday, every single week, do or die, guys, <laughs> that's where we're at. We always have a new episodes, so make sure you, you tune in, okay? Now, for social media, you can always contact us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. Yes, I said TikTok. And Pinterest at Woken Free. And guys, we spend time and energy cu- curating this content for you. So make sure you engage with us and, uh, you know, talk to us there. And then, of course, if you have 90 seconds, what can you do? You can do a lot, but what we ask is that you review the show. Go to the listen tab on WokenFree.com, pick where you want to review the show at, whatever platform allows you to do that, and please do. And if you are all about the iTunes, we would love some more five-star reviews on iTunes because those make our day, guys. So with that, I think it's time to uh, get you pumped, get you ready. Let's start talking about the show, sir. Let's get into it. Question one, if you could describe our pregnancy in one word, what would that be? Wow, so no cursing, huh? Okay. That Uh, would be it? (laughs) Cursing? No. I was asking you a question. I was asking, answering a question with to a question, which is, I know, a very poor form of communication, but I like to be silly. So, the and to answer your question, I would say unique. I think the experience of creating life is really remarkable. Uh, the symptoms attached are quite unique and not remarkable. <laughs> so everything from gas to uh, uh, issues in the bathroom to, uh, you know, really painful breast uh, <laughs> to bloating to uh, constant vomiting that those are not necessarily pretty and helpful, but a part of the process. So totally worth it. Thus, unique. And you? I would describe it as magical. Oh, you're lying? Oh, that's sad. That's, oh, (laughs) not lying, magical. (laughs) Okay, elaborate then. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's because I've been preparing, like, preparing for it my whole life, so I didn't didn't know when it would happen. You're such a man, that's amazing. You've been preparing your whole life for this. What exactly are you doing? I was getting all riled up for it, I was like... Gonna have this oh, I have wife. plenty of images in my mind. You were getting riled up for this. Yeah, for having for a pregnant impregnating wife. someone, <laughs> oh, impregnating my wife, uh, who happens to be me for today. <laughs> what do you for today? <laughs> I didn't know you could. Uh, oh, you're thinking about that show, the the sixty day wife thing or wife swap? They have multiverse. The multiverse. <laughs> no, that's not what the show is called. I think it's called wife swap. 
wife swap or shameful you're a shameful person no i didn't make the show up i didn't it's on lifetime but you're suggesting that you want to participate no you're saying you're getting confused and i don't think they you think it's a real life in thing that type of behavior on that show <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what behavior you're, you're speaking of but sexual all I know, engagements i don't know I don't, I don't watch that kind of television they definitely are not doing showing entanglements on television like that well they do that in the big brother show no they don't do they do yeah they remember engage sexually yeah, they do that. Oh, they gosh, have that. I have to watch the show. This no, you're fair. not watching that. The show's been too long running, and it's not something you want to watch now. It's been going on for too long. Oh, gosh. I didn't know they engaged in that. At all. Yeah, but it's like the other show. show. The I think they did that in the Paradise Island thing. Uh, There's a couple of shows where they had okay. that. Well, I know like Road Rules. Yeah, and like that. The That's MCP the same thing as Big Brother, though. Oh, Big Brother okay, had that. all that oh, stuff, yes, too. Yes, they definitely engaged all that. sex. That was fascinating. Yeah, see? Tantalizing, rather. <laughs> See, so that's why wife swap, it could be the same thing, but I don't know who signs up for that except, like, swingers. Okay, we're moving on. Because <laughs> this is getting weird. Yeah, I don't know enough about the show. Question number two. What are the benefits to having a pregnant partner? Can't wait to hear your thoughts there. No, oh, that's only one thought, but uh-huh. it's, it's a big thought, and it, it's an excuse for eating tasty foods. Ah, uh, You know, I concur with that. I think, yes, because <laughs> we, we before we got pregnant, we were on this whole diet of, well, not a diet, but a lifestyle change of, like, yeah. Minimal gluten, uh, really rather no gluten, no, yeah, no dairy. Weird, no gluten, no dairy. It was really fantastic. But then we got knocked up, or rather I got knocked up. So <laughs> uh, if that's I, how you want to describe it, I describe it as you got pregnant. I mean, there are different ways to go about saying the same thing. Here's some answers, oh, okay. really. <laughs> Maybe. I think that I, I don't know if you use the most eloquent word. No, definitely not. But I like saying it because say. it's really tacky and uh, just shameless. It just reminds me of the movies. That's all that does. I, that's, I, but you know, don't stop giddy. Yeah. <laughs> love shout out to cat katherine heigl she's just so amazing i love her so much <laughs> uh but yes i digress uh, i would say i agree with your point also uh in addition to eating tasty food generally eating everything in sight has been fascinating uh, i i thought I, I knew what hunger meant but be, by being pregnant i now know a new level of hunger and a new level of hanger hunger that with accompanying me accompanied with anger it's it's really out of this world so yeah we're both on the same page just continue with the nacho cheese fries and uh so mac both, and cheese both thinking about the food aspect i guess yes question three what is the downside to being pregnant mm. For me, definitely the peeing every 10 minutes, uh, sometimes every five minutes, uh, or even every two hours when I'm sleeping has really been challenging. Uh, Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a kind of crazy to have to keep getting up like that. I would say unpleasant gas is just also, I mean, if we're going to keep it woken free, we'll keep it honest. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, unpleasant, that's though. unpleasant and uncontrollable is <laughs> really uh, out of this world. I think there was something on social media I saw where someone was like, if you see a pregnant person walking, just assume there's just like a, a nonstop train of fart behind them. And I was oh, like, wow. <laughs> that just reminds me of the cartoons where they show the gas coming out of them. Yeah. And uh, I wow. concur with that. Like you literally lose control of your body and also sorts of things are happening so there you go bloating is also like really crazy my stomach will be really big on some points of the day and then much smaller later in the day very bizarre uh the hangry emotions you know in addition to being hangry and and wanting to eat but like just having this like emotional turmoil where i'll go from like being happy to being devastated to being very angry <laughs> all in one day and sometimes all in one hour so it's it's very kind of interesting there uh and then also just general physical uncomfortability i can't sleep the same way because i you know can't like i love to sleep on my belly can't do that anymore and also just like not feeling in control of my body you know i look down and i'm like whoa what's going on this is uh out of control but i then focus on the belly and say hey this is for this is for little one so it's totally worth it i only have two of them Mm -hmm. and it's i have to be a drill sergeant for you so i gotta force you to eat your good vegetables yeah, but I mean, I eat willingly. But yes, I do need a reminder because all I want to do is eat cheese and ice cream right now. Yeah, yeah. See, so that that's yeah. a definitely a downside. But you like trying to you like no, I don't, I don't like it. And no, I hate, I hate that. that. I don't like being that Joel Sargent. Yes, I have control do, over you. It makes you, me very then, sad because then it leads to other things, Galil. So. No, it makes me sad though that I have to like <laughs> you, tell you, give you, you orders. Get real graphic. <laughs> <laughs> this you is, like oh, it. graphic novels are very no, fun to read. You find graphic novels are fun to read if you know what I mean. Oh, so the next downside. Okay. <laughs> you call that a downside? 
<laughs> but being a drill sergeant, yeah. Being tantalized. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that could definitely be. I mean, am, am I depending like on a, what you're doing again? Yeah, yeah, if you're a prisoner of a, a war, then you know it's not. Great. We're talking about our home, Khalil. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just saying that they. Yeah, get, we're not talking about just. They saying tantalize talking, the wrong things, and that's it for you. Yeah, but we're talking about you. And make me sure you now you, you pass out from it. So as, unless you are because tantalizing is a funny word because I mean. Well, yeah, I could say turn on. I was trying to be you know somewhat suave, but you're not getting the point. I'm getting the point. I'm trying to get to the... I'm trying to answer these questions okay, here. Sure. That's what I'm trying to answer. Okay. You're being funny in the streets. Always. <laughs> these in these streets. Mm-hmm. The, the last thing is being a chore man, because I have to do lots of chores for you. Ah, yes. And it's, That's a downside. And it's supporting your child. Yeah, so but it's a downside, you. though. So yeah. I, I'm just being real. So that good was the you. downside. You can tell the child when they're there, when they come out. I can tell them about the downside? Yeah, you can tell them that you had to do chores and you didn't like it. But extra chores. I already do chores, but there's extra <laughs> chores that I do. <laughs> nice. Okay. So that that's the difference. Because gotcha. I already do some chores, but those are a given. So that's not nothing mm-hmm. new. Question four. What are the biggest surprises about our pregnancy so far? I would say, I would think that things would be a little bit normalized, which is probably a naive thought because every day is pretty much a wild journey. I don't know how nauseous I'm going to be. I don't know how hungry I'm going to be. I don't know what emotion I'm going to feel. So it's all like, I'm just kind of, I wake up and it's like a ride that I'm in for and we just have to see kind of where we're going with it. But I think that that's no different than regular life. At the end of the day, we never have certainty as to how the day is going to go. So you just kind of roll with it. And I mentioned it kind of in the beginning, and it's mm-hmm. really just the timing of it all. I didn't know it was going to happen last year. Mm-hmm. I actually thought it would be next summer. That's what I envisioned. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. But the vision it was wrong. You are not a seer. Boo, boo, boo. Remember, th- those haven't been proven, so. And I and that proves that they don't exist because I wasn't able to do it. You're wild. That's the proof. Question number <laughs> five. Any fears about pregnancy so far? For me, mm-hmm. well, it's obvious. I only have four fears, and that's not Here one of them because I've had these four okay, fears for the longest time. Divergent. <laughs> so it's I, unless I was going to add on a fifth fear, then you know it wouldn't make sense. I can Do only you have four. Do you want to break out? You even remember your four fears <laughs> exactly? But that's remember that's the secret. I try not to think about okay. it because I don't want to track them. Those okay, are messed fine. up things. I won't. I won't. I won't yeah. bring you into the dark world. Yeah, don't. <laughs> for me, I would say no fears per se. I, I think there are a lot of unknowns. However, similar to kind of your earlier point, focusing on those things are not going to help, right? Like there's always the risk of like, you know, how will things go in the pregnancy? Will everything be okay? You know, you're subjected to all these genetic tests. Are that all, are are that's all going to pan out well? It is what it is. Like I don't control any of that. So I can just focus on what I control and, and what I can do to make the, our little one uh, thrive and be happy and, live their best life in there. So that that's all I'm focusing on. No fears. That's good. Mm-hmm. Question six. How has the pregnancy announcement impacted your life so far? So it's been really interesting. I find people who are normally cool with not talking to me are all of a sudden sending me messages and well wishes, which you listen, I think anyone who wishes wellness over our child is that's a beautiful thing. Uh, but, you know, the realness in me is always like, where are you at? You know, where you been at for all these years or all this time? And now all of a sudden you want to chat. I just, I think it's kind of funny. But I know that baby news really does drive something inside of people. We all kind of get, I think, really excited at the at the news of new life. So I don't hold it against anyone. But I do think it's kind of interesting, this like swarming, swarming of people that come around you where it's like, you've been gone, but uh, you're back in the, the loop again. Okay, that's cool. Let's see how long this works and stays and, and see from that. And then also a lot of unsolicited advice, which as you know, I never appreciate unless I'm asking for it. I, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> so nice. that's, that usually irritates me and makes me angry. Yeah, you do get angry. <laughs> and that. I get that's irate true. actually. And I'm, and then you hear me screaming and cursing and yeah, at least I'm doing it before the baby's here. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> yep. And yeah. you well, I mean, I think it's just based off the announcements is getting well wishes from mm-hmm. lots of people, but mm-hmm. I don't get that unsolicited advice because I'm not the pregnant one. So True. <laughs> I don't get that kind of stuff. It's only I tell people and then, yeah, then I'll, they'll mm-hmm. wish well for it and that kind yeah. of stuff. Gotcha. But yeah, that's about it from the announcement itself. Mm-hmm. What would you say has been the hardest part for us being pregnant so far? I think the hardest part is ensuring my wife has everything she needs. Oh, is that really hard for you? Yeah. 
Because, I mean, your needs could be sometimes very specific, so I have to, like, try to get it in order. Then that I come to true. you, and then it's like it's not the correct order, and then you're just perplexed. And, yes. you know, we both look at each other, and we're confused. It's it's just weird times. You're going to have people praying for us at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying some of the events that occur, You're acting though. like I'm Stalin, and you're <laughs> like some type of slave no, but, living no, in but I, I didn't. Here. I didn't say you screamed at me. You just get a confused look, though, and then I'm confused. Well, I do scream, but... <laughs> <laughs> And I am, you know, a little... I don't think you always scurry. Not all the time. I think most of the time, if I mess up the the tenless order, then you just look at me confused, and I look back at you confused. Uh, and then so it just, just goes like that. it's just a Charlie Brown moment. It's just <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know. Walk, and then walk, music walk. starts playing in the background, <laughs> at least in my head. Uh, so you're <laughs> so hearing music like. now in your head. It That's what it feels like when we're just looking at each other trying to figure out what See, went wrong in the communication. I think you're the one who needs to start doing some TikToks. Why is that? <laughs> you're hearing certain... music in your head? <laughs> you can not... actually play it out and then <laughs> in, in real life. I don't know. It just happens. It's, Too funny. it's a happenstance. Yeah, so what is he speaking to you guys? I am the kind of woman and, and or wife that demands a lot <laughs> in the sense of I think that for me in life, I, you know, I'm not afraid to say what I want and who I want it from and how I want it and when I want it. Yes, that sounded very freaky. It wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah. generally speaking, I'm not afraid of saying that stuff because I think, you know, life is short. Just put it out there. If the person doesn't oblige, they don't oblige. If they do, cool. You just got everything you wanted. Score. So it's like really a win-win here. And <laughs> so a win-win. Okay. it is. And when I do give instructions, he is correct in that I usually don't give one. I usually give a list between three and 10. And uh, it's, I expect the person listening to take notes or do whatever they need to do. To wow. Keep account take of, notes. Yeah, How many possibly. notes am I going to be writing? As much as you have, you have a very fancy phone, right? So yeah, go ahead with it. Yeah, but I shouldn't be writing notes like that on it. I should be writing notes I mean, that I want to keep. I think it's a, it, I'm also trying to, you know, keep. spur up your memory. So I think it's really <laughs> up to you to use your memory. If you, you want know. to spur up my memory, you should tell me some past historical facts kind of thing. Why? You're the one doing your doctorate, your Loki doctorate in history right now. So A doctorate on Loki? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of interesting. Uh, to dedicate just one, uh, to dedicate a uh, whole dude, what, what, program just towards Loki. Uh, I mean, I guess you could learn about his family uh, history and where does the lore come from. The best thing that has been said for the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can think that, of. Like history, like historical. But you said facts. a Loki hit. I know. I didn't mean. I meant like low key, not like Loki. <laughs> but not like Loki. <laughs> But that is the everything. Weird god thing. Yeah, that's. Oh gosh, I would do my doctorate. The Nordic Thor. god. <laughs> you would do Thor, not the Loki yeah. guy. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Question eight: What is the biggest change in your life since getting pregnant? Mm, interesting. Uh, I think I really was looking, I was really enjoying kind of doing my walks and I was walking like 10,000 steps a day most of the times, usually more. There's some days where I even hit over 20,000, which was like a new high for me. And since being, finding out I've been pregnant, I've not wanted to move at all, like at all. So anytime I can now, my goal is now just like making sure I try to hit that 5,000 steps, but Really, guys, it's a challenge. And, you know, I really just want to eat and sleep uh, when I'm not working or creating content. So that's probably the biggest uh, change so far, outside of all the physical discomforts that I mentioned before that we do not need to repeat. Yeah, we went, <laughs> we went over that in detail. Correct. So I think they can go back if they'd like to hear that portion again. <laughs> Word. All right. Now, mm-hmm. for me, it's a toss-up between eating really tasty food again. Mm-hmm. That was a big change. But then technically... Now I'm walking the dog every day now again. Mm-hmm. So that that's a that's a new thing because you were you were doing I that before. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you're doing it so consistently that I just wasn't even walking him. So I think that's mm-hmm. definitely a, a, a big change. And again, trying to, to help you to get your steps in. Yeah. That's what that is. Oh. Yeah, I'm always trying to help you, sir. This that's, is for you. That's very interesting and to considerate know. for me. Yeah, I know. In, yeah. You said inconsiderate. <laughs> you're really turning you like, my words no, around. Did you low key snitch on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You did it. Am I yep. dry snitching on myself? <laughs> you said, whoops. Freudian slip. Uh. Yep. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, gosh. This is hilarious. Yeah. Question number nine. Any expectations to let go of uh, when being pregnant? 
I think expecting proper British etiquette is a no go. What the? F- <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you? Explain so, yourself. So it's it's just a. I'm just alluding to the whole being proper and being very nice. No, but I'm saying like in alluding to what you said before about like having gas and stuff. Because the proper British person, they excuse themselves to the restroom. Go screw yourself before they release the <laughs> kraken. Before they release the kraken. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me while I go to the toilet to to release the kraken. Yes. That's exactly that's what, what they, they say. say in the UK. Exactly. They go to oh, what is, it's called the eau de toilette. I don't know what that's called. You know the French word? Yes. Oui. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to say that. E-A-U. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to say that French word. I, don't, I never took French. Neither did I. Eau de toilette. Oh, you didn't take it either. Je hablo so. espanol. <laughs> yeah, you never took French either. No. So. Oh, well. But th- that's like, you, you, now all that stuff goes you, out the window, like yeah, using the proper... I didn't say that right, but yeah. Using the proper... Spanish, spo- Spanish. <laughs> using the proper fork and using the, the salad fork and, you know, that Get kind of stuff. Get out of my face with all your that, All that goes out the windows, though, is what I'm saying. Am I the pregnant. only one doing it? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I have to end that on. <laughs> yeah. No, that, but I'm saying that's for the couple. The couple doesn't do their normal things they used to do. When were you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> When was I making sure I used the, the yeah. salad fork instead of the steak knife? No, the toilet that we can't say in French. <laughs> <laughs> Excusing myself yes. to go to the restaurant. Yes, to release your kraken. <laughs> when was the last time you did that? <laughs> Not since we've been pregnant, I know that. Way, way oh, you think? That. Oh, really? You would think so. I mean, that's it's hard. That memory is... It's, it's it, been it 16 over a year, so I that think That memory it's, escapes yeah. me. I think it's been at least over 14 years that you haven't done this. Uh, done, done that, so... Well, not a, there's mis- you know people make mistakes for 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. I think this time it's a habit, Khalil. Oh, really? That that's what happens if it's 14 Correct. years of it. I or, would say, I, I would say an expectation to let go of when you're being when you're pregnant is releasing from should. Right? I think every pregnancy is different, and so. I would say give yourself grace, women and men uh, uh, involved here. There, there's not one way to be pregnant. There's not one way to do this. And as we laugh and and really kind of uh, uh, talk about this, just understand that there's a lot of moments that you're going to laugh at yourself at and also at your partner at and just being as kind and considerate as you can be is is really helpful but do know that you will not always feel good and that's okay you have to kind of get okay with not being okay and again staying focused right this is not about you this is about the life that you're bringing here and so it's okay if you don't feel good it's okay if you don't feel comfortable all the time is your baby doing well like focusing on making sure that that life is nurtured and thriving and any ugliness that ugly symptoms that come with that it's nothing lasts forever so it's nine months of this gestation you do it and then you get back to your your normal self if that ever existed including your british (laughs) etiquette that you used that no one uses in america yeah ah good point Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a part of British etiquette. That's something yeah, else. Exactly. But do you have to, I mean, you still can have your tea time at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wanker. <laughs> okay. Let's go to question 10. What to avoid doing with a pregnant partner? So for me, I would say crowding my space. I generally hate that. As you know, there are few people who can just come up on me and run up and give me hugs and hold me tight. Uh, you, you know, that leads to other things. So I usually push you off. Yeah, it leads getting... to watching Netflix. I know. Yeah, exactly. And chill. <laughs> exactly. Well, let's be real. Oh, so just the chill part, right? Exactly. You're just an interesting person, is I'm, what I I'm can glad. say. I'm glad. Uh, also, not listening to me, I think that's really insane to refuse to listen to your pregnant partner. That's really ludicrous. Uh, also, and not the artist, I'm talking about a behavior like All oh, right, choice. you clarified it. Yeah, just because, people. again, yeah, you're going crazy with the word choices tonight, <laughs> today, so. Oh, that's what it was? Okay. Yeah. So don't well, say so. fabulous or anything, you know. Hey. Because then you're going to have to clear that up. Tamia. <laughs> exactly yeah that sounds good to me uh, yep see it's gonna be like that or tia <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about my tia exactly, exactly <laughs> not getting food requests for your from your wife is again also a ludicrous behavior wow that's this person specific. is creating life yeah they need their nacho fries that's they pretty specific fries. right there not getting them burgers not getting them mac and cheese I don't, it doesn't matter how much food's in the fridge if the person wants something outside get them their food before they murder you that's but you could crazy. replace all of that with cauliflower just to be safe. After you start eating it, yes. 
Wow, you just want me yeah. to choke out on it. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> That's you crazy. brought it up. Also, oh, wow. mockery or making fun of a, 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 a pregnant person is not a good idea. We're, we're very vulnerable at this time. Not everyone's going to feel the same way, but I know I feel very vulnerable. And so any type of love and support you can send our way is greatly appreciated. Laughing at the person or making them feel a certain kind of way for something that they contr- can't control, like releasing their Kraken or <laughs> other behaviors that are happening. You know, just, I love you. <laughs> You're beautiful. You're incredible. Uh, how can I help you? How can I serve you? That's the type of language and narrative that needs to be shared with your pregnant partner. Not anything other than how you can help them, especially if you had a doing in getting them pregnant. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. All right. That's interesting. Yes. Yeah, serve your the, queen. The especially part. I don't think that was like necessary, but you know, to each their to? own. Who are you talking to? I'm just, I'm just. Oh, giving, you're having a mental breakdown. Oh, that's just, unfortunate. Just, just giving a tip. Ah, uh, to yourself, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. We don't need an especially part. We can just have a regular and that, like. Oh, so you're speaking out just... loud, but you meant to keep it in your mind. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a straight tip, though. I don't know what. There's oh, no. Okay. There's no okay. need to oh, specify. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that leads me to my uh-huh. points, then, yep. and I will say the arguing. That's you gotta try to knock do that because you'll lose yeah Mm -hmm. that's possibly possibly the reason why (laughs) yep exactly and then placing your partner on your shoulders i don't (gasps) think you should do that oh gosh no yeah but some people do that all the time so i'm just giving up oh yeah don't do that anymore yeah it's not a good idea Mm -mm. laying on top of your partner Mm -mm. that's not a good idea anymore Mm -mm. and then scary pranks is probably not the (laughs) thing to do no dressing up as Michael Myers anymore. I know. What a shame. What a tragic loss here. Yeah, it is. Because if you do that five times a year, then what's going to happen? I know. But maybe Chucky? <laughs> <laughs> or if we're really feeling froggy, Freddy Cougar. Yeah. I, I mean, as long as it's <laughs> not, not scary. Just not Michael, though. Michael's a little bit too much. As long as it doesn't scare the partner, that's yeah. what it's really about. So, oh, so uh, Pennywise. Yeah, that's a good one. Not everybody's scared of clowns, so you can do that. But not everybody has an irrational fear of clowns. Like, let's get it together. Oh, but Pennywise, everyone should fear. <laughs> really? Even though he gives you balloons? Have you seen his mouth? <laughs> That's an after effect. Though. Exactly. That's horrifying. Uh, question 11. What to avoid saying to your pregnant partner? Never say they are wrong and only you know best. Correct. Yeah. Because <laughs> you want to live today. Yeah, absolutely. Good answer. Oh, is it about living or is it about just keeping your pregnant person? In, no, I like, think you're trying good. to really, this is like, this is critical advice to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. Oh, but that, oh, that's, so that's for somebody to yeah. stay alive. Yeah, to stay alive, I think. Yeah. It's not for them to help out their partner. No, staying make them feel alive great. here. Yeah, staying oh, alive. Right. Just like in that game. That's, yeah. That's a, that movie we watched. That was awesome. Staying alive with Sophia Bush. I don't think I've watched that. Yeah, you did. Remember they went into the video game and then when you died in the video game, you died in real life because it came for you. Like you, however you died yeah. in the video game, then you died in real life. I'm very surprised you mentioned that movie. Because Sophia Bush was in it and I loved it. Uh, I loved her from One Tree Hill. Remember? She's so pretty. I didn't Just... know you liked that movie. <laughs> oh, I like her. I, mean, I, I really joking. like her. Yeah. Seems like, I thought you were joking when you I really, said you like that It's hard, but movie. I really like an actor. I like oh, really okay. love most of the things they do. Like, so, yeah. I'm kind of biased there. That's my bias. Because uh, I don't think you were scared of that movie. No, I wasn't. There's some parts, That's though. There's one part, the one part was, where was one they're hanging scary in the, the house, uh, like, off the lamp thing. That was scary. But All most right. of it, no, not so much. But staying alive. <laughs> Sophia Bush, check it out. Or stay alive. One of the two. Uh, check it out, guys. Uh, now, I would say, for me, being pregnant, the one thing I don't want to ever hear is the word No. Yeah, so whether that's professionally, personally, romantically, friends, family, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the word no right now. I find it offensive. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just Even find it offensive. Even professionally, though, that's good to know. Yeah, I just like yes. I just want yes now. Now that I'm creating life, I'm like, what do you mean? What are you suggesting? <laughs> like, I just, I don't understand. What do you mean? <laughs> A change of plans, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Sure, just don't say no to me. Just uh-huh. say alternatively. I just, I don't know. As a pregnant person, I just don't feel like hearing that word. I find it negative, and I'm just like, I feel like I envision me and this little kid of ours just like in superhero costumes and just like, boo! Like, I wish you would. Like, we're wow. ready. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, no, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right. Question 12. How has pregnancy impacted our marriage? So in one way, I feel closer to you because it's like, wow, like we've created this beautiful life together. We have a whole lifetime to spend with this 
person, you know, God willing. And, uh, and it's also just like really kind of amazing to see what, what the next six months, 12 months, 12 years, all that will be. But then also on the other hand, I would say I feel more distance from you because there's all these things happening in my body that I can't really experience with you. I can just tell you and or you can hear it or or witness it, whether it's the cracking or the vomiting, right? Like you, you're you not. And also because because of COVID, you can't like go to the appointments with me. So I, a lot of this I'm just doing by myself. So I find that that's a distancing piece in, in the relationship, which I don't necessarily enjoy. Uh, but, you know, overall, I focus on the unification of us, which is going to be interesting to see like your little eyes on this little eyes person and like all of that kind of stuff. And yeah. How about uh, you? It's good that I'm an empath. Cause then I can feel your pain that you're going <laughs> oh, through. Oh, you're lying on. Oh, that's a shame. Don't lie. No, is that I'm not an empath. You then? don't believe in that. That's true. So how can you be it then? Well, you can be something even if you don't believe it. Right. What? <laughs> that's true. It's kind of like, what if you don't believe you're an, like, let's say you're born in the U S you're considered an American, but Correct. what if you don't believe that people are still going to call you an American? You might believe you're a Martian. It doesn't matter. People are going to call you an American. So you're going down a different road that I'm not willing to go uh, okay, down. Okay. You right don't want to go down the, cause yeah, now you're talking about the beliefs. <laughs> but you in this moment feel an empath, like an empath <laughs> in this I, moment. I mean, I feel your pain. Like I watch uh. it and I can feel it. I don't even know if you believe in pain. I mean, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. That's, see, that's crazy to say. Because for you, you're just like, ah, deal with it. <laughs> it is just like... I just don't... I can't express my emotions in your dynamic way, but I can at least feel it. Whatever, computer, whatever. No, but I can feel it and I can understand I can kind of I'm going to buy it. that Star Wars beeping thing. What's it called? The R2? What's it called? The beeping. Which one? The white... The, the big one, not that newer one. That not the ball with. one. Not that ball one. The big one that oh. was with... So uh, the R2-D2? Yeah. Yeah. So that you can have a friend to finally talk to. <laughs> that would be the that friend. That can understand you. Uh, <laughs> and right. your madness. Maybe, Maybe that would help with mm-hmm. learning what the empath is really about. Oh, snap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can discuss it and figure out what this yeah, business is. You can is. beep, beep your way into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. To answer the question, Correct. though, it has made our marriage more binding because mm-hmm. we have created life together. And mm-hmm. I think that's a pretty powerful thing. Absolutely. So that's. I love the lackluster voice that attached to that those words too. <laughs> <laughs> like even more classic. I can't wait I know, for a little one sound, to hear it. Like you're like, is it real exciting? And the second thing is, it has created more love to distribute to our child. Again, lackluster uh, phrasing. So very. Oh, nice. was the fra- Oh, the phrasing wasn't good. So I mean, the phrasing the could be changed. Right oh, there. but the to- oh, the tone wasn't good. Yeah, not good, but it just sounded like you were talking about uh, like a drill sergeant book or something. Like, no, but what if I was reading out instructions to people to follow to get through their next course and fall asleep? Right? No, not to fall asleep. <laughs> they should hear it and they should be like, "That's good information to know." They can do that. Exactly. Exactly. So I, well. I like that. Beautiful. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. So question 13, what is the most meaningful milestone to this date that we've achieved? That we've achieved? In I the guess, pregnancy. Yeah. I think I just like seeing the sonogram images. I think that gives insight into what's going on because otherwise mm-hmm. I, I don't have much proof of what's happening. <laughs> <Of> life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like proof of life, yeah. <laughs> nice. It's a okay. good way to put it. I agree with you. I would say every sonogram and heartbeat detection is kind of another connection to the baby. And it just, you know, every time we get it, it just seems like a gift. Uh, the last heartbeat uh, uh, session that we did, but I have to go monthly until you get clo- like further along in the pregnancy until then you'll do like bi-weekly or something like that. But at this point, just on our monthly regular checkups, they do the heartbeat uh, detection and I recorded it. And it was just so incredible to hear the the kid has a strong heartbeat. And every time it was heard, the the nurse or whatever the person's title is, was is always like, oh, wow, strong. So it's just kind of cool because it's like, Avi, I mean, you know, obviously I'm a warrior. So why wouldn't I make a warrior? Yay, super exciting. So I agree. Question 14, how has pregnancy impacted how you see your body? So this is interesting, right? Because again, uh, everyone, you could be beautiful at any size. There, Before we got pregnant, I was working on purposely and intentionally losing weight 
working on strengthening my body and just feeling more comfortable with my body. I always will plan to have big boobs and big bu- booty. That's just who I am. <laughs> That's your what, uh, plan? Wow. That is my plan. Uh, because again, even no matter how much I work out, I'm still at some point going to have mac and cheese or at some point oh. going to have fries or something, right? Like, oh, there's boy. just always going to be oh, some boy, oh, boy. point where it's like, okay, Tosh, do you, yep, yep, I see that cake. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, you but, having gluten-free cake. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> I don't know why you say that. It is. It's, it's not good. as good as the regular. Yeah, one, but though. it's still it's edible. It's getting better. Yes, no, it, it's good. It's, it's not okay. like the normal. It's not like the regular one, but it's still good. It's edible. It's not creme brulee. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. At that. That's so messed up for you to say. <laughs> but uh, now, as my body literally is getting larger in all different facets, from my legs to my but to my boobs to my stomach, I have to re-envision what beauty looks like for my pregnant body. And I would say it's still beautiful. It's, it's challenging when you were purposely losing weight and now you're like gaining weight, not out of your control. I mean, I guess I am because it's like, no, Tosh, you don't need Swedish fish, but I do. <laughs> I actually do. You I like can't to have fight some it. of those good snacks. Yeah, I have my raisinets. Baby loves raisins. Baby loves ice cream. Baby loves popcorn, cheese, endless cheese. <laughs> like, cannot stress the dairy enough. So it's adding on the pounds, but ultimately, you know, you seem pretty excited about it. So that's cool. And I try to just, again, hope, hold on to the fact that like, this is for the benefit of my child. So whatever I have to go through for my child, I will do because that is what a mother is supposed to do. And your thoughts? I see our body as a temple. Explain that one. (laughs) What does this mean? That means mine and your body. They are both sacred. There is something to cherish and be mm. beloved. So whatever you do to them, it doesn't matter. So a, a bit the of end. a human centipede situation happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, none of that. I just talking about the sacredness of the of the body. That's what I'm talking about. I just envisioned humans morphing together and it's like a sick thing that no. you're referring to, so I don't know. It's like when one church buys out another church. Oh, snap. Keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> Question right. 15. What's the most stressful aspect of our pregnancy to date? I think it's trying to continue with current responsibilities yes. while preparing for the little one's arrival. Yes. It's Definitely a juggling challenge to manage everything that's going on. Absolutely. And making sure everything's in place once the person is here. Mm, My goodness. (laughs) That is saying a very PC way of saying, yeah, like stuff is hitting the fan because you already had certain, we already had certain projects that we're working on. And then now we have a little one. And now we're also looking into options, depending like real estate options. So it's, it's really challenging to fit it all together and still smile and still still have joy in your heart. So <laughs> I agree with you. Uh, definitely managing pregnancy, work, life, uh, yeah, creative projects, looking for a house. It's, it's a lot, but ultimately again, human beings are very resilient. So there's nothing you can't do that, that comes your way. It's just a matter of having that proper mindset, having a strong partner, being very communicative about like when you need to take a break, when you need to work and just keeping it moving. But yeah, Good. We'd love to hear from other pregnant couples to hear kind of what are some of the things that they're dealing with during their pregnancy because it's uh, everyone's journey here is different, D- different stresses, different things that they're juggling. Question 16. What is your favorite thing to do while pregnant? Oh, yeah. So other than eating or sleeping, definitely dancing. I love to dance. I hope our baby loves to dance. I will never stop dancing. (laughs) I hope to to dance while I, when I'm in labor, I hope the baby is, yeah. Like, I mean, listen, my family's Jamaican. I think a big part of Jamaican culture is not just the food and stuff, but it's the music and it's the dance and stuff like that. And I feel like that's just genetically within me. And so I, I know also just, it makes me feel good. And it's just like, why not? And I just, I hope the baby's listening and comes out and says, Buju Bantan. That's. <laughs> really, that's what needs to be said. Buju Bantan. Not you are the dancing queen. Oh. Can't say that. That would be actually really incredible. <laughs> yeah. Or where's my tablet? <laughs> 
smart even better. <laughs> that would be a you thing. Be like, yeah. that is all you, sir. You think so? It's me? Yes. But you are the dancing queen is all me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's definitely true. Oh, God. And your answer? Mine is sleeping in bed with you. Yeah, being freaky, huh? Nice. It's not freaky. I told you, if you're not by my side, I can't get a Stop well lying. night's rest. Stop lying. It's true. I don't know what it is. It's like you were the perfect person for me. You are a liar. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I No, that's that. all I knew. Oh, I know it's what like, you want. Okay, got you. <laughs> to have a peaceful night. Nice. Oh, ooh, I know. How do you achieve peace? That's a that's a great question. You know what? That's an excellent question. The world's leaders are trying to figure that out as we speak. Unspare that is a great pants. question. You had you asked an excellent question though. How you did. You that's a that I mean, you're blowing people's mind. Yeah, they're like, wow. You I mean, that's wow. A question that is At one a question. House. That is like something I mean, you couldn't even answer that in an episode. I think you'd have to cover that in twenty a series, episodes. I know that would definitely be a series. <laughs> How do you How achieve peace? peace? One episode could not cover One episode that topic. would be through the sexual endeavors. I mean, <laughs> if you're thinking that's all you need to achieve peace, then I got With you it is. <laughs> I mean, that's you'd have to get a survey on that. Oh, one. gosh. You want to talk to other people about this? <laughs> <laughs> you have to survey people to think to see if that is an option. I mean. I want to see what's on that survey that you're asking them. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, it's an online survey. So, um, you know, in these COVID times, you can't uh, go door to door and ask cyber people. Cyber sexuality, nice. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's getting crazy there. Question 17. I don't know. What advice do you have to other pregnant couples? Be ready for your body to change. Mm-hmm. Make sure to take care of your pregnant partner first. Yes. You, the, you put her at the top and then listen to your body. It's more important than ever. Because Absolutely. your body's going to say things, and I would say this is the point where you probably shouldn't ignore what it's saying. Absolutely. Even if you've done it before, because I think we've most of us have been through those times where our body says something, but we're just like, screw that. We're mm-hmm. going to do what we want. When you're pregnant, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would say be loving and understanding with each other. Like I said earlier, this is not only new to me, the pregnant person, but it's new to you, the pregnant dad or the dad in the pregnant couple. Right. And so we both are going through this. We're both experiencing this. And so just also thinking, I love that you said, put me first, but I also have to think about your needs, right? You're the dad. I, I have to make sure I'm supporting you in this as well. Uh, also try to focus on the positive things that you have. It's really easy to get down on the negatives. It's really easy to get down on yourself or, oh man, I'm, wow. I'm too tired to do X, Y, Z. What did you do? If you did one thing, that's a win. Like, you know, it's okay if you didn't do the 28 things you needed to do. If you did one thing, good for you. Like you gotta, you have to give yourself grace. Also eliminate anyone or circumstance, any person or any circumstance that's disrupting your peace right now. I've had to block family members. I've had to block people who are disturbing my peace and I refuse it. I am definitely that mother who's going to be a tiger mom, (laughs) but also just that person who refuses to disrupt, let anyone or anything disrupt my child's happiness. I don't care. Can I be an orca dad then? Sure. There's no phrasing for that, but you can you can start that new <laughs> campaign. Okay. <laughs> and uh, no one is ever. I'm planning on as and it, it might be futile, but I'm planning to not have anyone or anything disrupt my child unnecessarily. I understand the kid has to go through heartache and pain and and struggle. Yes, but they don't need family baggage or drama. And if you come here with that, you will feel my wrath immediately. <laughs> and I, you know what my wrath is so it is quite large and wild that's a great tip for people <laughs> to take i hope they oblige by it uh they better uh you know listen not, they, then, you'll be burned yeah, yeah i'm not, I'm not messing around hard times there i'm not messing around don't try me you are what are you suggesting all right <laughs> On a lighter note, question 18, mm-hmm. favorite foods to eat while pregnant? So this I thought was good just to like hear, and I hope that other, we hope that we hear from other pregnant couples to hear what they're chowing down on. For this little one, this little one loves mac and cheese, just like their mom. Uh, they love, this person loves pizza. This person loves wings, burgers. So obviously very American. Uh, <laughs> this person loves breakfast sandwiches. Shout out to Burger King. This person loves raisins. Yes. Swedish fish, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Raisinets, ice cream, strawberry milk, yes. Popcorn, Taco Bell, specifically nacho cheese fries, 
Yes. I just I question your raise and uh, the Swedish fish. I question everything Baby else. Loves it. Everything Baby else. Loves I it. believe I don't believe the Swedish fish. Baby loves the Swedish that's fish. Just, that seems too specific to me. And, and raisinets aren't. <laughs> but it makes sense because it's based on the raisins and the yeah. chocolate. I mean, mm-hmm. I can under I could I could see all the cravings for that. The Swedish fish though, that seems like a stretch. Ah, uh, so you think that's just me disguising that then? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> <laughs> you think I try to run game on you? <laughs> oh, boy. Wow! I'm, I'm, what a what a question yeah. to ask your husband. Yeah. Listen, a, how do you achieve peace? What a and, question! You know, am I running game on you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a question to ask. That is that is indeed. You raised a great point there, though. You know, you talk about the foods that you say the baby craves. Correct. And. I mean, I have I have foods that I crave though too during the pregnancy. Okay, what are you craving during this pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> See, so I this get my cravings, yeah. and these cravings are they're definitely all mine. Okay, okay, because because you don't have an infant inside. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not growing the baby inside the of me. Fetus is not with but you, but I'm I'm assisting you in your growth of our child. Yes, okay. that's what I'm doing. So I assist by eating pasta, eating pizza. Having whipped cream and cheese fries. Amazing. So the the nacho, those I guess you want to be specific. So I yes. am talking about the nacho ones that you yes. mentioned. Those are definitely the top ones. The I baby mean, thanks you for your uh, solidarity here. Yeah. That's but you're having breakfast sandwiches. I just yes what? Burger King. Remember that? We oh, did. you mean like that? Okay, because yes. I know you're not a fan of making it at home. That's what's funny. I like, well, I did for a while, but then I kept throwing mm-hmm. them up, so then I had to stop. Remember? Because I would put I would <laughs> you do made the it for you, and but did you put it all egg. together? Oh yeah, I put it. Oh, all, I didn't yeah, know oh, that. Yeah, I've never again, seen you eat it. <laughs> oh yes, well I've never again, seen you Mr. Eat it. I need you to sleep next to me when I wake up at three or four in the morning and you're still asleep and I'm down here making my breakfast. Yeah. I'm being destroyed. It's like a, you know, it's it's kind of like a robot who's missing the batteries and trying to put the batteries back in every day. You can't do it. You don't have batteries <laughs> to put your batteries in. Every so day. You just got to hope for all hopes that there's like some okay, secret Terminator. battery hidden away. Okay. It's like that though. It feels You're like, like the you know, Robocop. Huh? <laughs> no, not, but it's like a, a kind of, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Does it compute? Yeah. It's like, you know, I'm just like powerless to move. I want to move, but I can't. Yep, and, and it's somehow like I'm not actually a person can but, still do it. Yeah, but I'm not even asleep. But I can't even go back to sleep. But I can't even get up either. So it's it's so a you're tough catatonic, time. Catatonic, you're suggesting. I'm in a weird state. It's almost it's almost like one of those dreaming states. Okay, <laughs> it's almost like almost. a lucid dream. I don't want to go and say it's that far because I'm not dreaming, but it's okay. kind of how I can't move though. It's almost like a paralysis of sorts. You're trifling. It, it's very, it's, it's a strange <laughs> in between. I don't know I what they call it. It's a new thing. I don't know if I've invented life it. And I can wake up at four in the morning and you said you struggle in at six. <laughs> no, I get up at six. It's not six. I struggle at the four you're, the, that you get up at. Yeah, That's okay. where I struggle, not at six. At four is hard for you, huh? But but you can but you can do six. Okay. Yeah, that was what I was trying to convey. All right. Sir. That's the issue, though. I can I can get up at six. That's no problem. All I mean, right. it's not great. I'm not a morning person. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie about that. It's hard getting up, but. It's easy for you to get up because that's what you used, you're used to doing. That so ironically, guys, what, what what I did was about six months before we got pregnant, I had this like weird inclination, and we talked about it. And I was saying, you know, I should just start waking up early because you know eventually we do want to have kids. And we figured, hey, you'd be the night owl, and I would be the morning person. Not because I love waking up, but just because I can do it. And I trained myself for pretty much two months, waking up between three and four. Every day. And yeah, I cussed and yeah, it was hard. Sometimes I had to throw myself out of bed, but you do it and you move on. And now I still do it. I don't, it's not as traumatic as when I first started, but you know, so you just make it happen, but we can keep it moving. Question 19. How important is it to connect with other pregnant women or couples during this time? It's a nice idea, but ultimately it's not the most important thing. Mm -hmm. You can be pregnant and not know others in the same situation. It doesn't mean you're not going to get through the pregnancy or something. So I can't say that it's of utmost importance to mm-hmm. do. I completely agree. I would say it would be really nice to connect with other pregnant women and couples and stuff like that during this period. But like most things in my life, I usually have to figure this out on my own or with you or with a very few list of people of good people in my life that I trust and I rely upon. And those people mean everything to me. And and that and it's pretty much a very small circle, less than five people, guys, <laughs> like less than three people. 
<laughs> and really to remain honest. So, uh, and at the end of the day, the, the, those three people, like that matters the most to me. And, and those are the people that hold me up and, and I can turn to them and that's all I need. And, you know, it would be, like you said, it would be nice to be like, Hey, Sue, or Hey, and, and all this stuff, but it is what it is. I, I don't necessarily have it. But what I would say is I've really enjoyed the content of pregnant women on TikTok. They're very supportive and, and very uh, nice and wish you well wishes. And we'll talk about the real stuff like discharge and ligament pain and all sorts of stuff, gas, the crack and all of that good stuff. So it's been nice to learn about pregnancy through other people, which I don't necessarily know, but I feel, you know, a little bit connected to them through social media. All right. That's good. You, mm-hmm. didn't, you didn't mention your friend Juanita, but that's okay. Okay. Question 20. Weirdest part about being pregnant? Oh, God. The vivid dreams, guys. It's nuts. If anything from the dreams about the people <laughs> that I knew in high school <laughs> that I no, no longer talk to, but I somehow have dreams about them, to dreams of the baby in the future. So, like, my <laughs> I'm low key. premonitions not low-key but low-key premonitions that i believe i'm having as well as some very real sex dreams that i think are real happening and i wake up highly disappointed that (laughs) they did not happen because they really seemed like they were happening that's super disappointing (laughs) (laughs) nice I'm keeping it woke and free, guys. Also, dreams about friends and and just like, did we do this? Are we going to do this? I'm just so confused. And I uh, I hope they all come true, especially the sex ones. <laughs> 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 and uh, it just gets right. wild. It just, when I my mind goes to bed, it just goes wild. So I would say that's the weirdest part about pregnancy. How about you? Mine are, well, I only have one because mm-hmm. I don't have these vivid dreams like you had. Yeah. And it's. Just knowing that there's an additional family member baking inside of you. It's kind of like, it's when you think about it, it's kind of creepy. Because <laughs> it's like, there's this thing inside of you. It doesn't, it's not telling us what we should be doing. Or, Correct. You know, it's not making any demands. It's not consenting. Thinking in the brain, huh? You're really hoping that the brain communicates to you more. Well, it's just weird knowing that it's a it's a little human and mm-hmm. we can't communicate with it yet. So I think that's strange. I think I communicate when I eat Swedish fish. See, like that, because <laughs> if I could communicate with the person, mm-hmm. then the person might say, hey, it, I didn't say Swedish fish. I said Twizzler or something. I don't know. Wouldn't that be an amazing yeah, it TikTok? Was, it was like, I wanted Twizzler, <laughs> but you kept giving it the Swedish fish. And it said, yeah, eh, close enough. I think the baby I know. doesn't like it. Though. I don't like it either. But I'm just saying, what if the baby somehow liked the Twizzlers? It'd be interesting. Hey, listen, the baby sometimes might say, I want a Gucci purse. You better be careful. For a free get out of when you're inside, you can say you can say whatever you want, right? Once you come out, then you gotta you gotta show me the money. Uh, Do you have a job? (laughs) Show me the money, then yeah. Oh, you have no income. Oh, that's so sad. Because yeah, you can say you know you want to get something luxurious, but you've got to be paying them bills. Godiva. (laughs) <laughs> well careful you gotta buy it online but I know, yeah i know i think maybe next week baby might be fiending oh, for boy. the white chocolate covered here we go pineapples i think again oh that oh yeah. not the white chocolate covered reese's pieces no the white like what you got for me for christmas ah. yeah i think baby just told me that so that there's a hint there you go that's what baby told you see yeah. i should communicate with baby and no because your say, communication would say hey baby wants cauliflower and okra <laughs> and I would say, you sick person. But lots mind. of it, just yeah. lots of it, though. And I would say, add cheese on that cauliflower, and now we're talking. <laughs> add a, and some hot sauce on that add okra. Add a spritz of a dash of salt, and then you good with the cauliflower. After you. With sir. the okra, you could maybe, I guess you could like you could sear it in a pan, and maybe. Don't make me nauseous. It. I haven't puked yet. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, if you say so, I guess yes. you can get out of that stuff. Yes. Last question, guys. Question 21. What will you tell the baby, if anything, about the pregnancy, Khalil? I will tell the baby, you are the best baby we could wish for, Mm. and I'm sorry about the Swedish fish. Oh, snap. (laughs) You really are salty about Swedish fish, huh? Only only because I don't know if that's what the baby was. Good thing I have it on a subscription service from a very popular selling uh, selling platform. And tears are rolling down my eyes now. You mean from your wallet. (laughs) Good thing I'm paying for it, because I'm an independent woman. Booyah! Snap, snap. Drop the mic. You're making me ball on this episode. Like, it's crazy that you're able to do it. Remember what you ultimately want today. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, for the sun to rise. That's for a good peace. one. For peace. Oh, you're right. Oh, peace. Yeah. Peace of mind and peace and spirit and body. Good one. Exactly. Now, I would say to the baby, yes, this was difficult. I also plan to share my labor story with them. And as long as it is and as painful as it is, I plan to document it and share it with child. And then I also want to keep it 100 percent woken free and just be honest with with the kid and talk about releasing the kraken and that's what you're telling the baby about the pregnancy yeah those things <laughs> <laughs> i want them to be I mean, fully okay. aware of the process but also to your point i would end the conversation by saying we are so glad that you're here and everything that we went through was totally worth it because you're amazing and you're a rock star and you're gonna change this world so welcome our little one we love you Wow, all right. Exactly, see? Thing. Mom still wins. Booyah! I didn't know this was a competition. Then I would have come up with something Hello. more elaborate. It's always a competition. Uh, <laughs> According to you, you stay that's competing it. with me. <laughs> not purposely. It's unintentional. So you're just pathologically crazy. No, it's not. <laughs> what does that have to do with competing? That's not true. It's like some people will start writing up rules for no reason. That's what can happen. Don't throw shade my way <laughs> <laughs> you know i like a set of rules and, and that's someone things. who wants to compete though someone try to make it in their favor yep. always always <laughs> see you're trying to make sure these hey, like you're in competition with yourself always i'm i didn't know this was part of the competition stop being then, salty swedish fish no if i knew though you know i would go back if this was my one time i would grab the time machine go back and i'd write a whole essay on my word is what i would say to the baby you. multiverse all right so i'll take one <laughs> essay from that multiverse and i'll bring it here <laughs> and i'll show it to you and then you'll say all right i gave you that one you outdid me for the day we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling that you. Time again. It is coming to the end of our 178th episode of Welcome Woke Free. See, I wish you would compete better there. <laughs> this All was right, quite, I got you next time. This was quite the episode doing another Woken Free story time called 21 Questions About Pregnancy. Will we leave you hanging for what our next episode will be about? Drum roll, please. On our next episode, we will be discussing 10 things you didn't know about black history that you should. Make sure you follow us on social media to follow along in the conversation. And make sure you tune in next week for Woken Free Wednesday to join the conversation at WokenFree.com. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, we do pretty much have a tight schedule for 2021. But if you have a compelling story, if you have something really interesting that you want to share and bring to the Woken Free Nation, we want to hear it. Go to the Contact Us page at WokenFree.com, which is W-O-K-E-N-F-R-E-E.com. And hit us up. Now, when it comes to social media, you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, TikTok at Woken Free. And then, of course, if you're interested in any sponsorship or collaboration ideas, same place. Contact us page at WokenFree.com. If you didn't already subscribe, please do share the episode and make sure you come back to join the conversation every Wednesday for Woken Free Wednesdays. Remember, Woken Free is more than a podcast. It is a way of life. Until next time.